Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, we're gonna talk about five ways you can tell he's lying to you. Hi there, this is Matt Schaefer, your Empowerment Connection and Relationship Coach. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna to talk about five, five ways you can tell that he's not being honest with you. <laughs> so this is, this is your first time stopping by my channel. Take a second, hit that little subscribe button and be sure to stay towards the end. I'm always wrapping things up and giving you a little extra content here at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's dive into it. All right, so the first way that you can tell that a man is lying, and this is a classic one, is that he tells you too many details, <laughs> right? He has a TMI issue. So this can look a lot of different ways, but, so, but if he feels like, if you ask him a question, and he feels like he needs to tell you the entire story, like a narrative of all the things he did and all the places he went and all the people he talked to. And maybe he even says, well, you could reach out to, you know, this person and whatever, whatever. If he starts like giving you alibis and he just really, it really feels like he's trying really hard to sell you on a story, that's not a good sign. Right? If someone's telling you the truth, they're gonna be very clear with you on, this is where I was at, this is what I was doing, it was no big deal. Right? They're gonna be very relaxed about it. But if someone is giving you too many details, like, well, I went to this bar and I was hanging out with Harry and with Dick and we were you know, having some beers and then we went to this other club and we did this. Mm. Chances are he's overselling a story because he's not being truthful with you. Now, the second way, the second way you can tell that a man is lying is if, he's not willing to make eye contact with you. Now, I know this isn't necessarily a uh, tell because some men just have issues with eye contact in general, but if your man has uh, no problem with eye contact otherwise, and then all of a sudden when you get into a situation where he's explaining to you where he was at and what he was doing, and all of a sudden he's looking away, or when he gets to a certain point in the story, he sort of breaks eye contact and he's looking away, that could mean either that he's lying to you directly or he's trying to think of a story right a lot of times when people go into thought they look away because that's just a way that they have to do to to think about things right so if he's breaking your gaze when he's he's either trying to come up with details and come up with a story or he's actually feeling subconsciously guilty about the fact that he's not being truthful with you because uh, unless he's a full-blown sociopath, <laughs> a lot of men will actually feel bad about the fact that they're lying, which is why they won't be able to maintain eye contact with you while they're doing it. So look for that. Look for whether he's able to keep your gaze or not as you're asking him questions and he's giving you answers to them. Now, a third way to tell that a man is lying is if he gets very defensive. <laughs> so this can look a lot of different ways. So basically any time that you ask a man a question and he responds by maybe attacking you, maybe telling you you're being pushy, you're asking too many questions, when he goes on the offensive, <laughs> The best defense is a good offense, right? So if a man's being defensive and he starts like getting very combative with you, that's a great way to tell that he's lying and maybe he hasn't had enough time to come up with a good story or an alibi. So if a man comes home and he's just done something he's not proud of, but he hasn't had enough time or enough foresight to come up with a good reason or excuse or alibi for that behavior and you call him on it, you confront him on it and you say, well, what happened? Where did you go? You were supposed to be home at this time and you were home at that time. He panics and instead of telling you a story because he hasn't had time to come up with one, he's gonna just be like, well, why do you have to ask me so many questions? You know, this speaks to a larger problem that we're having in our relationship, right? He wants to put you on the defensive so that, because that will buy him time to come up with a story or maybe he'll get lucky and you'll just let go of the matter altogether. Right. Another way that he'll do within that whole framework is he will gaslight you. Now this is a classic technique that narcissists use and a lot of men use where they want you to feel wrong or they want you to feel crazy for asking the questions. So they might say something to the effect of, why are you so paranoid? Why do you always feel the need? Like, have you ever looked at your trust issues? You know, like, why can't you just trust me for at my word for what I'm saying? Like, I just, I'm so tired of you cons consistently, you know, making me feel bad about the fact that I want to hang out with my friends. 
See what he's doing there? He's trying to make you actually feel bad or crazy or out of sorts about the fact that you're asking those questions to begin with. So if a man is gaslighting you on a regular basis, he's doing that as a defense mechanism and, a, and as a way to throw you off balance because he's hiding something. Now a fourth way to tell that a man is lying is if you find yourself making lots of excuses and rationalizing his behavior. So maybe your friends ask, well, where's, where's your boyfriend been? You know, we've gone out a whole bunch of times and we don't ever see him anymore. And you find yourself defending his actions to your friends and even to yourself. Well, he's spending so much time at the office and he's got this big, you know, promotion coming up and he's just gotta stay late. And I know he's staying late even on Saturday. And you find yourself concocting excuses. If you find yourself having to talk your way into believing what it is, why it is that your man isn't showing up for you, or why it is that he's doing things that you know you know are not necessarily fair to you, that's a good way to tell that he's lying. If you're having to convince yourself <laughs> that uh, what he's doing is not appropriate, right, or that what he's doing is appropriate, or you're having to convince and justify what he's doing and how he's acting to your friends and to your family and to the people in your life, that's another big sign that he's probably lying and he's got you uh, convinced and he's got you making up stories for him. Because on some level, you might be in denial about who he is and why he's doing what he's doing. So just look for that. Look for that and look for if you're basically becoming his advocate to the people in your life. And the last and most important and most telling way to determine if your man is lying to you is if it doesn't feel right to you. I have had this happen with so many clients and so many friends and so many women in my life where they, once they look back with hindsight, they're able to tell, like their intuition was telling them all along that this man was not being upfront with them, that this man was lying to them. Chances are, if you're feeling it on a consistent and regular basis, that you're not getting the full story, that he's hiding the ball, that he's telling you stories. If, you're, if it's not feeling right to you on a regular basis, you're gonna wanna trust your intuition <laughs> on this. And, and of course, I know that you know we all have wounds, right? And we all have a tendency to sometimes project those wounds onto other people. So I want you to be careful to discern that, right? If, if it's a one-off thing, or if he says something and, you're in a tr and it triggers you and you're in a triggered state and you find yourself projecting onto him and distrusting him in an isolated incident, that's one thing. But if there's a consistent pattern of he's doing things that are not feeling good to you and you're consistently feeling uh, out of sorts about it and you're consistently not, not really buying his story and it's happening again and again and again and again, trust your intuition on this, right? Ask deeper questions and then and then, then, then look for his responses. When you ask him deeper questions about stories he's telling you that aren't feeling good, and he starts responding with a lot of these other things we've already talked about. If he responds with gaslighting, if he responds with defensiveness, if he gives you way too many details, if he tries to give you alibi witnesses to back up his story, chances are he's overcompensating for uh, the fact that you're already starting to detect the fact that he's not being honest with you. So to sort of bring this whole thing full circle, right? At the end of the day, the best detector you have for your partner's truth and honesty is your own intuition. It's your own gut, right? And you've got that higher voice always talking to you. <laughs> and so if that voice is telling you something isn't right here, where there's smoke, a lot of times there is fire. So trust yourself, trust your voice, ask deeper questions and look for these other red flags, right? And if push comes to shove, like you get to be willing to stand in your power and walk away from the relationship because trust is the foundation of every positive, expansive relationship. And if you don't have trust, you don't have a relationship. So I hope these tips have helped you and I hope they're gonna help you identify if a man is lying to you or not in your life and it'll lead to you having more powerful conversations because here's the thing, just because a man is lying to you about something, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's a bad guy. Maybe he feels shame around something in his life, right? And, he, and he's scared that if he tells you about it, uh, you'll leave him. 
So don't necessarily walk away from a man just because he lies to you about something, but be willing to have a powerful conversation with him about it. And if after that conversation, he can't just admit that he was dishonest and really commit to working on it, chances are he's not the guy for you. So I hope this video served you. If it did, take a second, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time on my YouTube channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.